The Mohs scale of hardness helps us differentiate between different materials, like plastic, which scratches at a level 2 or 3, glass, which scratches at 5 or 6, and sapphire, which scratches at a level 8 or 9. Samsung says they're using Gorilla Glass Victus on both the front and back of the Fold 3, and that matches up perfectly with our scratches at level 6, with deeper grooves at level 7. of the spring's capacity, it's not fully locked out, and even at 50%, this is probably pressing harder than most people ever be drying with the S-Pen. Wiping off the display, it's pretty impossible to refine the marks I was making, so I would say that the S-Pen is indeed safe to use on the screen. S-Pen yes, fingernails no. This guy is IPX8. The X means it's not dust proof, which is why I currently have a lot of dust in my hand. You might be asking, hey Jerry, how can a phone be water resistant, but not dust resistant? Well, rumor is that Samsung has coated the internal circuits with an oleophobic coating. The coating can repel water without having to be watertight. Pretty cool technology, since it would probably be pretty difficult to plug up all the gaps and holes on a folding phone, which has all those gears inside the spine. We'll have to check out the oleophobic coating during the teardown. With rocks, dirt, and dust spilling out of both ends, I think it's pretty safe to say that this is reasonably the most dirt a fold could ever anticipate encountering in real life. We'll open and close it a few more times for good measure. Five all this abuse, and now it's time for the Galaxy Fold 3. It still has a very quiet hinge, and when bent folded shut, there is no budge from the front to the back. No surprise, we would expect that sturdiness from the folded phone and massive spine, and folded backwards. Even though this Fold 3 is thinner than last year's Fold 2, we still have no catastrophic damage while bending from the back. There was a slight complaint, which made me nervous, but still no damage to the screen, even after attempting to bend again. The Galaxy Fold 3, surprisingly, survives my durability test. The soft inner display would not be the 80% harder surface that we were looking for, but the phone as a whole is for sure 80% stronger than it appears on paper. Nice work, Samsung. It'll be interesting to get inside and see that oleophobic motherboard during the teardown. Speaking of